Well, the problem with defining sex as a binary really um, only takes into account the, the smallest cells uh, in the body, the sperm cells versus egg cells. And that's really the only difference between males and females that we see that is purely binary. There's lots of other important sex-related biology all throughout our body, and it doesn't always fit into two nice, neat binary categories. And so the problem with defining biological sex that way is that it ignores a lot of very sex-influenced biology all throughout the body. We have anatomy all throughout our body that shows sex differences, but those differences are overlapping. And the, the variation within the sexes is larger than the difference between them. So if you think about upper body muscle mass, or if you think about basal metabolic rate, if you think about a uh, waist hip ratio, um, red, red blood cell count, white blood cell count, there's lots of important sex differences throughout the body, but these are almost never binary. Um, people don't fall perfectly into one category or the other. And in fact, many of us will fit outside of our sex typical uh, value on some measure. And that doesn't make us any less male or any less female. But what it does is show us that the whole body um, can express sex in a very diverse and complicated way.